In this video, we are going to see, we're going to talk about a real engine and twin motion. So I want to show you how you can get into a real engine, some of the uh, objects and also in this case, humans. So I want to show you how you can get twin motion, humans, human models inside Unreal Engine to use it in Unreal Engine. So for those of you who don't know what Unreal Engine and Twinmotion are, these are two different software. They look similar, but they are a little bit different. And they are both available using the Epic Games Launcher. So first of all, you need to download and install the Epic Games Launcher. So just search for Epic Games launcher and you can then download uh, the launcher and from the launcher you can download the Unreal Engine editor the, the one that we are gonna check out today and also Twinmotion. Now I'm gonna show you for those of you who don't know for those of you who know they can just keep ahead if they are watching this in, not in live, but in a, a recorded video. So you can see that Twinmotion and Unreal Engine are based on the same render engine, but Twinmotion basically it's used for visualization. So you can create renderings, you can create uh, animation, video animation, especially for architecture and design, interior design. So you can create immersive 3D architectural visualization, really easy, fast, and I will show you it's so easy that it's um, almost, uh, I don't know, uh, a game. And Unreal Engine instead, it's a little bit more complex. And with Unreal Engine, you can basically create video games or interactive applications. You can use this in many industries like video games, uh, TV series, automotive design, and so on. So these are both from Epic Games. And you can see everything that you need to know in the websites here that I have shown you right now. So let's get into the action. Now, this is the YouTube channel that we uh, use to publish videos. So you can check latest videos, you can check video courses on the playlist. If you're searching for something in particular, just type here, for example, let's search for Twinmotion and you will find video guides showing you how to download and install Twinmotion as well as Unreal Engine and other packages like animals or other stuff that we did in the past. For example, just type animals, uh, Unreal Engine and you will find similar videos like that. So importing and exporting. Also have a look to Quixel, which uh, is a service that gives away for free 3D models and textures for Unreal Engine. So you can check that as well. Quixel Unreal Engine or also uh, Substance, which gives uh, materials and textures. So we did a lot of guides. So please subscribe. If you want to support us also, you can join and you can check these other links here or the store or the information page. At the bottom, you will find many links. Okay, now let's get into action. So right now I have installed both. I've installed Twinmotion and I have installed Unreal Engine. So if you didn't, you just click here at the top and you install Unreal Engine or Twinmotion. It's gonna take long time so take your time and download and install this so when you are you have finished to install you can launch a real engine and create a new scene and also this has been uh, explained into other video guides and video courses so right now i'm just going to show you here the library now from the library we can open up different versions of the engine you can see here i have to update to the latest version which is 4.26 but in this case uh, it doesn't matter we can use other scenes and you you can see i have created 
uh, other scenes already. So uh, I don't need to create a new one, but if you did, if you didn't, sorry, you can create a new one by launching here and just select a template. You can select a template from architectural. You can select a template for anything. Now I want to show you here, for example, um, combination of a real engine and Revit, which was um, treated into another video guide. So I want to use Revit here to, let's double click this scene to show you how it works. And so first you need a scene. So you need to create one from scratch or you need to open up one from your library. And you can see also we did another video guide about meta humans, which are pretty high realistic and uh, animated uh, or that uh, rigged uh, models that you can use in a real engine as well. But in this video, I want to show you this one here. So let's get from the library to the marketplace. Now in the marketplace, you will find a lot of stuff you can download, you can buy, but in this particular case, it's a free content. So we get to free. If we click free, we can check some free contents here in the marketplace. And I want to search for Twin Motion. Oops. Okay, now it's opening up the the Unreal scene. So it closed my Epic Games launcher. So I'm gonna open it again from my Windows start menu. Okay. And let's get to the marketplace. Now, if you have any questions, you can type on the chat here live in, we are live on Twitch, or you can just write comments on a YouTube channel. Okay, so marketplace, and let's get into the search products, and I will type twin motion and human. Human, all right. Okay, you can see here, we find this right away. And you can already see I own this. So I already downloaded and installed it in my launcher. You can do this on any device. You can have one single account and you can access to different devices. This is what I did. So if you didn't already download some package, it's pretty simple. Just click here and then click add to project. And this is going to start basically the download. You can see here, you can select the project to add the asset to. And in this case, I have selected this one here. So I can say, okay, add to project. Now, the only problem here is that it, this is going to take a long, long time. This particular package here, it's so nice that it has a lot of high detailed and realistic 3D models. So they, have, they are pretty realistic. And they have um, really defined textures and detailed textures. So they are pretty cool, but they are also pretty heavy. They are going to take a long time to download. You can see here, these are almost nine gigabytes of uh, stuff. So I cannot show you in this video here, but just leave it downloading. And once it's finished, it's, you will be able to insert this into your scene. Now, we already did other videos about this topic. Again, just check on the YouTube channel or write us and we're gonna send you the, the link to see the video. Now, in this package, you will find all these high quality textures and high quality models. And I will show you these models in just one minute. I just want to show you how it works with the marketplace and Unreal Engine. Now, once this is as finished, now I'm gonna delete this download right now because I don't have time to show you and my internet connection isn't so fast to download this quickly. So once you finish, you get back to the library and you either uh, take the package directly into your scene and oh, this doesn't look like Revit at all. I think it's in another scene here. So I will have to open up uh, an existing level. And well, it's okay, but 
I thought I had uh, an architecture here, but this is a sample that you can use. It's a third person sample. Okay, now you can either directly insert the package into your scene, or you can check it later in the library. If you go in the library, here you have your projects saved. And if you go down at the bottom, you will find all the stuff that you have downloaded from the library. Now, let me make this a little bit bigger to show you better what I have downloaded so far. Now, you can see I have downloaded Marmoset, uh, which is another software to create text to and materials, Substance, and also Twin Motion Materials for Unreal Engine. We already talked about that. And also other packages like animals and fantasy creatures. And this is my Twin Motion Post Humans, which is not already, it's not downloaded yet. Now, if I want to add, for example, one of these to the project, I just click here and this is going to add it to my project. So again, I select the project and I upload it into that particular project. So it's pretty easy. When you go to the marketplace and download stuff, there's going to be two types, basically, of things that you can download. One are complete scenes or projects. So you can create a project, not by using a template, but using, for example, this interior scene here. Or you can upload a package. So that in that case, it's going to ask you to add to the project. You can also remove it if you want. So you have these two options. Now, if you want to import humans or other uh, models or materials, you just have to click to add to project, select your project, and that's it. The job is done. Now, I cannot show you the humans right now, but I can show you Twin Motion directly. So I will click on Launch. So I cannot show you into Unreal Engine, but the same humans that we find in that package that you need to download and then add to your Unreal Engine, the same exact models you will find it into Twin Motion. So let's have a look to Twin Motion. And again, this is asking me to some stuff here, but I don't care. And we are going to open up here the sample Twin Motion education scene. There you go. Let me place it correctly on the screen. All right. Now, this is the empty world of Twin Motion, the one that you will find the first time you're going to open up Twin Motion. So, if I click here and I go to characters, these are two types of humans that we will find. Now, post humans are the ones that you can also find in the package for Unreal Engine. So, for example, here, if I start to bring in some of these inside, now that, that's too small or Either I am too far or the thing is too small, but use these navigation commands here to uh, get more closer W, A, S, D to move around like a video game and also the right button of your mouse to orbit your, to look around and change your view. And there's my model right there. So this is a post human. This means that they are static, they will not move, and they're perfect for uh, static renderings, visual, visual architect architectural uh, visualization. Um, but here in Twin Motion, we can also use animated humans. Now, we don't have animated humans yet into Unreal Engine because animation in Unreal Engine is a little bit more complex. But again, they are working on meta humans, which are far more realistic and complex but let i just want to show you here just a real quick demonstration of the difference between animated humans and post humans now this is animated as you can see and the the great thing that that you can do here with animated people in twin motion is that you can change the animation from down here so you can see this is sitting, this is special, like playing the piano, walking. Now this is walking and staying in on the place, but you can also change that. You can also 
make them uh, follow a path. And that's going to be in the animation tools for 3D motion. You can also change clothes. You know, it's so simple, just like a video game. You can change here the type of walking and other actions that the character could do. So it's so cool. And, you know, it's just a real engine in a lighter version where you can just come in, drag and drop stuff from the library. Yeah, by the way, just have to click and drag to insert new people and the job is done. It's so, so simple. And right here you have the management. So you can also deactivate or activate or select the characters from here. And well, that's basically it. So other things that, well, you can do a lot of things here in Twinmotion and hopefully we will do more video guides and more video uh, live streaming on Twinmotion, Unreal Engine and other stuff. So please support us in our Twitch channel and in the YouTube channel. You can, again, subscribe or join. You can ask questions. You also can give suggestions. You can participate to our community. Check the store if you want to support us. And the links here at the top right or the about page with the links at the bottom. Now, uh, for the ones who are in the live streaming right now, we are going to talk a little bit more and communicate a little bit. For the ones of you who are watching this in YouTube, thanks for watching and see you in the next video guide.